We're switching gears right now to a great story. You know, some people might think some of our low-income residents, some of our homeless, they, the last thing they might need is a makeover. But Tanisha ekin she's here with me, professional hairstylist, and, and you've been making over people all across this wonderful state. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Yes, I am all about enriching lives through the gift of beauty and empowerment. So, yes, I have been. And can you explain a little bit about what your program is? Well, Empowering Through Beauty, what we do, we go around to the churches and to other nonprofit and provide beauty services such as haircuts, hair makeovers, um, skin care uh, services, and also empowerment seminars and classes to empower mostly the homeless, but those who are transitioning back into the workforce. And we're here with Charlene Payne, and you met her at a Sunday supper recently, right? Uh, it wasn't a Sunday supper. It was over a year ago we met uh, at a supper at one of the churches. And yes, this is Charlene here with us today. Charlene, thanks so much for joining and me. Thank so you. How did, so how did, you, how did you meet Tanisha? Uh, I met Tanisha over a year ago. It was in July. I was at a Thursday night supper at United Congregational Church. And she was there explaining her program and her empowerment. And she asked anybody that wanted to sign up to get a makeover, to and get a makeover. And well, you look I great, am. I have to Thank say. You. you look beautiful. Thank um, you. How did you feel after she gave you that makeover? I felt differently. I felt like I just could go out and win the world. I felt, I felt so beautiful. And like do you still beautiful. feel like that a year later? Yes. Really? Yes. So how did, how did that work? Did you kind of keep up with it? Did you kind of learn all those tips that she gave you? Yes, I kept up with it. I learned from her tips that she gave me. And now when people see me, I try to tell the ladies, I have a friend. If you need something, I'll bring her to you oh, or you to them. And that's wonderful. It's people helping people. Mm -hmm. It's really inspiring. Uh, Miguel Feliciano, you're also a hairdresser, right? Exactly. So how do you um, decide kind of what is the best haircut for someone when, you meet, when you're meeting them for the first time? Um, first, I look at the person and be, be, uh, see in my mind what looks the best for the people. You know what I'm saying? Because some people want a style that they don't look right to them. So I'd be like, this don't, don't look right to you. Oh, you got to be delicate when you say that, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Some people get offended, but they love it. The best part is to make them happy when they get out of the chair and they feel special. That's the best part. How does that feel for you inside? Real good. That's wonderful. Real good. So, Tanisha, if people want to learn more about your program, how can they do that? They can go to Empowering Through Beauty website at www.empoweringthroughbeauty.org to learn more about our program. And are you having another event soon? Uh, we do. We have something coming up uh, August the 26th, I'm sorry, August the 25th at United, United Congregational Church in Bridgeport. So we're definitely looking for donations and sponsorship opportunities for people to get involved with. That's so wonderful. Yes. Well, thank you so much. Thank this you. This was some great information. Charlene, you look great. Thank Miguel, you. Miguel, thank you so much. Thank and thank you. you so much for your work because I think welcome. it's something that people don't really think about, but it, it has clearly made a difference for Charlene and I'm sure other people are Absolutely, well. thank you. Thank you, thank you. Well, coming up, we will have another look at your weather and headlines. Stay with us.